Okay, number 18, we have the integral of e to the t times cotangent of e to the t minus 3 at dt. And we have to remember with tangent and cotangent, unless they're squared, uh, what we have to do is to rewrite them in uh, cosine over sine or sine over cosine form. So we have e to the t cosine of e to the t minus 3 over sine of e to the t minus 3 dt. And in, to help us not have to use substitution twice, we want to use the denominator as our u, or attempt to do that. And we know that the derivative of sine of e to the t minus 3 is going to be cosine e to the 3 e to the t minus 3, and then because of the chain rule, times e to the t. Let's see how it works. We have sine of e to the t minus 3. So du, first of all, cosine, take the derivative of the outside, leave the inside alone, times the derivative of the inside, which is e to the t, and then we're done. And as you can see, that's the whole numerator there. Conveniently, the whole numerator swaps out for du, the whole denominator swaps out for u, and the antiderivative of that then is simply ln of the absolute value of u plus c, which is ln of the absolute value of sine of e to the t minus 3 plus c. ln of sine of e to the t minus 3, and so our answer is C. It actually wasn't as bad as it looked there. But hopefully you can pick up the principles um, in this problem. When we have tangent or cotangent, we're going to rewrite them as cosine over sine or sine over cosine. Use the denominator as our u, and hopefully everything works out from there.